Hey everybody, I'm Shane Ireland. I'm Alan Britt. I'm Troy Smith. And I'm Pete Prevost. Hey man. Hey. Good to see ya. <laughs> Whoa, what am I doing here? Yeah. Well, Steve overslept and we didn't want to wait for him. Okay. So it's a good thing you were here. I'm you? glad I was here. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect timing. Absolutely. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Mystery Review. Um, this is the month of, is it August? August? It oh, is August. August. It is August. Pumpkin spice latte. Yes, go. Let's go. It's back. Um, yeah. So we are here again. We have uh, a very, very special uh, guest inquisitor as well. The panel's own Andy Wyke. Which makes him not a guest inquisitor. Well, We're actually going back to the original format. To the OG. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just regular inquisitor. But we do have the very first guest panelist. This is true. In <laughs> president of Briarworks and artisan pipe maker in his own right, Mr. Pete Prevost. Clap it up, Pete Prevost, everybody. And Pete has been an inquisitor yeah, a number of a number times of over the year. So this was our sadistic way of uh, punishing me. Getting yeah, he, back. he yeah. has embarrassed us numerous times, yeah. and so hopefully yeah. he'll be on the the receiving end of this one. Don't worry, I will be able to uh, just be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's you were going to say to guess it. Yeah. I was like, oh man. <laughs> oh, as soon as as soon as this was handed to us, I yeah off camera made a joke about I know what it is. <laughs> and I was like, seriously, and I was like, no, no. no. I, <laughs> yeah, if if, if if he gets this right, I might never do one of these videos again. <laughs> might, might yeah. just call it quits. But yeah, Andy is our is our inquisitor, and as you can see, he's given us something very interesting. Is this the first time we've ever had jars? I think so. Yeah. I was we've, yeah. we've had it in tins before. Like didn't somebody gave us little tiny jars one time? Little Oof. tiny mason jars. Like a little like kind of like probably Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't remember know. who it was, but know. we definitely got a little baby. Okay. I just remember dozens and dozens of Ziploc bags. Yeah. I hate yeah. the Ziploc bags. I dream about yeah. the Ziploc bags. I and mean, you definitely get a lot of aroma out of the jar. I was just going to say, yeah. it's like it's like a proper tin note. Also, like if Andy, like if Andy thinks he's out. getting this mason jar back, he's sorely wrong. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to put, I'll put some yeah. muscadine jam in this as soon as we're done. <laughs> now, I, I did I did notice that he, I don't know, maybe this is trickery, I don't know, but... You, you got, like, he, a fancy jar. Well, I do. I have a quilted oh, yeah. one. You have a little quilted Sorry. one. Um, and he did hand them out in specific order at the That's table. True. And I don't know if he was trying to... Make us think that this. there was... This is my first time doing this, so I don't know if that's normal or not, but he True. walked and he specifically said... Mind. No, keep going, keep going. Yeah, so I, I don't know if that was uh, some sort of some power move. Yeah. He was like trying to mess with us mind, a little bit. Mind games. Yeah, there's also nothing written on the jar, so I'm not sure what he was looking at. They all smell identical to me. Now we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Uh, they smell identical to me. They look fairly identical. Mine smells smell stronger than Truitt's, but it's the uh, same smell. Mine smells so smaller, much stronger, mine, like, like a sour uh, like note to it. Mine smells, like mine smells mine. fruitier than yours. Yours is like a little, like, sour, it's more, you're more vinegary, mild, like, yeah. 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 You take a Especially water from yours, Drew. So that one smells quite pungent. Yeah. That one, I feel like for this some one reason, does like mine's too. like punchy. You know, it's all what well, okay, like mine's quick. fungy. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, right before before we get before we get too sidetracked. Our smell on, pretty same. Uh, pretty same. Pretty, pretty same. same. <laughs> jar bros. It's classic. Uh, when you, it's classic when you open the jar though that you get that big punch. Yeah. yeah. For so sure. even just well, setting off for a couple you guys seconds, all you opened yours before I did, mm -hmm. probably by a handful yeah. of minutes because I was definitely late today. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, so I'm wondering if the reason that I feel like mine smells yeah, stronger mine, is mine's because decreased them. Yeah, you yeah. guys have oh, you guys exposed your oxygen. It has yeah. like a very aged smell to oh, it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I I I don't want to get too cocky too early, but I. I feel like I know what this tobacco is, nice. or at least I have it narrowed down in my mind to two, maybe three possibilities. So the first thing I noticed besides the jar is the cut's very disuniform. <laughs> yeah. And it seems to me like a roughed out cake. Crumble cake. It so, almost certainly is. And I, there, I think I saw some a few press pieces maybe, but it's it's definitely giving off a rubbed out crumble cake. It's giving crumble vibe. cake. It's, it's giving, giving crumble cake. It's giving crumbsies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so when I first opened the jar, okay. Almost 100% this is a C&D product. Okay. Almost 100%. Yeah. Um, I can't remember the last time I saw a C&D crumble cake, so I was yeah. really like, oh shoot, I don't know well, if I can get the manufacturer. Also, this has the aroma and smell mm. of a very specific period of time of C&D's mm. production. Mm -hmm. um, I'd, be I'd be shocked if this, if this was younger than 
Oof. Somewhere between eight and ten years. Like this specific mm -hmm. tobacco or the yeah, blend? The specific was, tobacco. Okay. Well, the blend too, I think. Yeah. Not like a new CN. Yeah. Yeah. CN yeah, yeah. Right. No. 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 Yeah. This is this is what this is what early Laodice C and D smelled and looked yeah. like. So to me, I smell uh, super plummy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bit vinegary. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely vinegary. Bit vinegary and kind of boozy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, got a boozy quality. It's got a fruity note to it yeah. too, like beyond the plumminess, mm -hmm. like something yeah. brighter. Mm -hmm. um, so what I was gonna say is when I first opened the jar and when I first smelled it, it reminded me of the stash of like original um, GLP's Cumberland that okay. I have, um, which which has all of those like really perique mm. forward, like fruity kind of quality, it's but like it had that candy. it had that mahogany leaf in yeah. it back then, and that gave it like this really nice earthiness. Um, I, I still think that this is a rubbed out crumble cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the, the only thing I'm like pretty confident on. Like this this little this is my little dead giveaway here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like these kind of pieces. It's also um, floofy. Uh, yeah, the texture is really interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like my uh, so I smoke Red Burn quite a bit. Uh, it's one of my favorite Burley blends, and um, C and D Crumble Cake, and it's very similar uh, to when that's rubbed out. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking like I was thinking peas. Like that was definitely like a thought in my yeah. mind. Um, Actually, at, at Mule Town, I brought some of that old yeah. Cumberland with me. Did you? Yeah, and okay. I think I think yeah. Neil Osborne ended up uh, ended up getting the rest of that jar, um, but I hadn't smoked yeah. it in a while, and it's yeah. definitely got similar vibes. Is Cumberland a cake? No, okay. but it's kind of a, it's so. kind of a rougher cut. Though. Stonehenge a cake? Stonehenge is a flake. Flake. That's right. I couldn't remember. And and it's kind of made in England. And Stonehenge and also yeah. has that. Um, yeah. It's definitely got the soapy. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just trying to think about which ones are like cakes, and I can't remember. It's been so I long. Since I, had a, I don't think any anything. Yeah. I don't think yeah, anything I'm in the piece blanking. of this cake. You've got a couple plugs, plugs. Um, and then you've mm -hmm. got a couple of like Barbary Coast, you got Jack Cumberland, Knife Cairo. Plug. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jack Knife Plug. Yes, yeah, so, you know, some of the original series has a similar cut. Yeah. but I still, I still think mm -hmm. that's. And right. older C and D were cut on the rougher side mm -hmm. generally, mm -hmm. but this still seems too rough. To have been intended to be a ribbon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. No, I think I think it was a cake. Yeah, I think it was a cake. Um, For me, the real question here is how much perique is in this blend. I think that's the biggest clue. And I think if this is as old as I think it is, it's going to be harder to tell mm -hmm. how much perique is. In I, this I blend. think. I mean, I don't know percentage, but I definitely feel like there is perique mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Yeah. But I'm with Shane on that. It feels so much tamer than maybe it once was. Mm hmm It's really rounded, the flavor. And that's the thing is like, C and D in general, and, and the blends that I'm sort of torn between that I think this could be, really, really, like the, they're especially some of those older blends, um, like both from uh, the Tarler days and the early Jeremy Reeves, Jeremy Reeves, Jeremy Reeves uh, stewardship, um, the Burleys and the way that they used the Burley, like everything was really hearty. Like mm -hmm. really on the spicy side, really on the earthy side. Um, so I'm getting, I get a decent amount of spice on the retro hail. Yeah, no, that. Also, it's really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we haven't mentioned that, but it's, <laughs> yeah. it's just yeah. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is fairly. And spicy. when I smelled it, like it smells aged, I was very much mm -hmm. looking forward to lighting it up, and it's not disappointing. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, this is mm. this is. I, I really think this has benefited from from a lot of time in the cellar. Um. So ah. I don't see how this could be possible, but it's it's clear there's some trickery afoot mm -hmm. in yeah. some way. Maybe it's just that it's rubbed out crumble cake. Mm -hmm. Could Andy have made a cake from something that's not normally a cake mm. and Oof. then rubbed it out? I mean, Possibly. But I guess the, the no, it wouldn't have been as it would have been more uniform because it would have looked like a ribbon. Oh right, right. It, had been it would have the, to do like, it right. bigger pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think unless he somehow had a super well aged ribbon and then got Jeremy to press it. That's what somehow, I was thinking. Yeah, that's what I was. Mm. The, aro the aroma here is is not. I don't. I don't think. I don't think this is. I don't think if you opened a fresh can of whatever this blend is right now, it would be anywhere close. No, no. I was no, thinking like right. he had an aged thing, and yeah. then he he went to C and D and had Jeremy do some magic for him. 
And he could have been playing the long game and playing this. <laughs> he could have been playing this. <laughs> oh, wait, so just waiting. Just God, that market. would be incredible. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh man. I should have started doing that years ago, mm -hmm. so that when somebody finally needed me to be the Inquisitor, I had something up my sleeve. Okay, let's take a quick break. We do have um, a word from our sponsors, so uh, let's do that. We'll be back here in just a second. Are you always losing your tobacco accessories? Introducing the Low Country Pipe and Cigar Premium Cargo Hat. It's not just headwear, it's your personal tobacco butler. This isn't your grandpa's fishing hat, unless your grandpa was secretly James Bond. With more pockets than a kangaroo convention, you'll never misplace your pipe tool again. Don't let your accessories go up in smoke. Get your hat today. Hey everybody, here we are, still confused. Um, <laughs> shocker. <laughs> shocker, yeah, the commercial break wasn't enough time to uh, figure it out. Figure it out. You know, I'm having like, I, I, I won't call it a deja vu because it's not. I have a very specific memory of my early days at the company with this exact pipe, driving to work really? and smoking what I believe this tobacco mm. is. Incredible. Like yeah, straight amazing. up. Like, I just, I can't even think of any CND cakes. Like my mind is just <laughs> blank. You, you got just like pirate, uh, pirate cake. Redburn. This, this, this is obviously pirate cake. 75% <laughs> yeah. pirate You've got yeah. speakeasy, yeah. but that's a much newer, I mean, yeah. not speakeasy, um, uh, the seer sucker. That's much yeah. sucker. That's, that's, that's well, newer. That, yeah. Um, which is See, all these ones I didn't even know were, were and, crumble and, cakes. And I was thinking about the, um, this, like, I don't know, like, like this, Look of the cake um, and the cuts and like the cigar beast. leaf, but I don't feel like it has cigar leaf in it. it no, doesn't, it doesn't have anything so. like it to it's me. That okay. Seems that way. Um, I mean, it's got more tang to it. Um, isn't nitrite the smell a smell of it has more cake? tang to it? But that's not old enough. I feel like this is aged. I feel like this is aged. Yeah. Which point did you say, Pete? I was just talking about seersucker being oh, like a, a, yeah. a, a cake. So. I didn't. I don't want to. I didn't want to say this too early, but yeah. the blends that I had immediately come to mind. And now I'm maybe second guessing myself, but yeah. um, I think other than some like older and like slightly more obscure blends, mm -hmm. I really feel like C and D and the crumble cakes that they produced took sort of center stage in their portfolio with the introduction of the Cellar series. Oh, Shanae's cake. Shanae's cake, Oak Alley. That's right. That's yeah. right. Um, Those were cakes. Those yeah. were cakes. Um, King's cake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, King's cake, yeah. Oh, King's cake has Ju a very distinct... Juan yeah. Juan yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love King's cake. Okay. King's cake has a very distinctive yes. top it's, note, though. It's been a while since I've had... Mm -hmm. This could very well be one of those. Yeah. It could very, definitely very well be... be one of those. Is, it, is Night Train a, a cake? It's like a burly perique. Blue. Yes, I think it's. A but also, so also, so not. Series, yeah. Last year, two years ago, semi recently, the Seller Series original run reached its, its recommended peak. Yeah. recommended peak time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. Chuck did a blog post on it, yeah. interviewing Jeremy, kind of, re yeah, uh, reintroducing the Seller Series yeah. and basically being like, hey, this original run has now reached the age that C and D sort of recommended mm. you seller it for. So okay, I I think that's that's where I'm leaning with Shane. And trying to remember. Seller series makes a yeah. lot of sense. So I'm trying to remember all the different ones. So Shanae, like. Shanae's cake. Yeah, I've got smoked through all of them now. Crazy. Though, so I don't know. Crazy perique. Yeah. Like Shanae's cake, okay. especially yeah. those first runs. It was the perique was really good, and there was a lot of it. Yeah. Um, Oak Alley is the one I smoked the most, and this definitely reminds me of that. I'm gonna throw out one more thing though. You said, Pete, you said you don't necessarily taste cigar leaf, and I think especially after this much time, it would be really challenging yeah. to pick that out. Yeah. Which one has cigar leaf? Seersucker. Well, Seersucker. Oh. Seersucker has cigar leaf, but there's another blend that has cigar leaf that also comes in a mason jar. I know. I thought about oh. lawyer, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that I know a, a little bit to be true is like. Country lawyer and like, there's a lot of similarities between the two, but mm -hmm. but seersucker is pressed into a cake, yeah. yeah, which takes on a lot of different characteristics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sure. And they're cousins, I, I, but like they're cousins, yeah. but like I definitely, 
is it possible that this mm. is not a cake and it's just like? But like I've, I mean, some of the components of I Country Lawyer were pressed as individual components. Yeah, you know? but here's the thing, and again, I haven't popped a Country Lawyer that has more age on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're like coming up on ten years of the Briarworks tobaccos. I have some original ones that I haven't opened, but like, I don't recall. I just can't. This has got a lot more like cidery mm -hmm, tang mm -hmm. to it than I would expect out of Country Lawyer. Yeah. But you're, I mean, I'm just. Saying. I would be wild to go back and pop one of those Country Lawyer tins and have like this. This kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, definitely, Country Lawyer crossed my mind. And I was, I immediately dismissed it. Yeah. But yeah. like, I don't. Mm. I, yeah. But also, what a you know. Having a Briarworth blend would. And he brought him in mason would, jars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could be. He, he could brought be. him in mason jars. Okay. The goal is to humiliate you specifically. I know. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know that he's out for vengeance. Here. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We're all just casualties. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. But then also, like, what if it was like a little bit of the mix of both? Mm -hmm. You've got like. The cigar leaf blend with like mm -hmm. sear sucker that actually is a cake. Mm -hmm. Maybe the mason jar was like a little bit too like much of a hint mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. throw us off and like not and send us more towards that eventually with the country lawyer. Yeah. And like, then as far as what I'm actually tasting instead of just speculating on the cut and like Andy's evil moments. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should. Um, yeah. I feel like <laughs> the spice is there. I was pretty damn sure it was Perique, and I still feel relatively confident. Mm -hmm. I feel like if it is Perique, either this is mellowed to the point that like I'm kind of surprised, or it's probably not Chenet's cake, which would be the most Perique heavy out of is all it, of those blends. Wouldn't this be Perique? Well, maybe. I mean, we could learn like it. Greenish. No, 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 no. 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 Maybe Oriental. Dude, you know, that's that could be Oriental. Let's see. You gotta look at some of this leaf. It's pretty musty. Yeah. I feel like that's Oriental. Could some be. Kind of Oriental, yeah. yeah. Which that makes this harder because I don't remember. And I don't remember the components of any of these blends. No, like, yeah. Super no, and, and like, I just don't feel like it's just ton, country lawyer. At least, like, New Country Lawyer has, like, zero must to it, yeah. in my yeah. opinion. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, like, zero, but it's not not anywhere, like, on this kind of level of, like, mustiness, I feel like. But. Yeah, there's there's two Briarworks blends I smoke pretty regularly, regularly, uh, Back Down South and Country Lawyer, and mm -hmm. I'm just not... And back, and back, back Down South, and I've had all kinds of years of Back Down South, um, obviously, that's a, that's a flake, but... It also has a much sweeter smell to yes. it. Yes, yep. yes, like, like irrespective of the age. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but what about, hold on, I'm gonna try one more little chunky piece here. See if it smells like Perique. That's crazy. Freaky. It's pretty funky. It feels like burly. Yeah, I think it is. I, I think there's a decent oh. amount of burly in this. Like, oh. even though the tin note was really aged Virginia e, yeah. the yeah. flavor is more is very yeah, like it's more rustic, burly, or, yeah. and a little like earthy. There's that sweetness from what I assume are Virginias, and then what's the spice that I assume is. Perique, maybe some Orientals or something, but this feels pretty burly. Yeah. This is put hair on your chest, tobacco. No, yeah. this is like what my grandpa would smoke. I feel like. Yeah, especially if if this is as old as we think it is. Imagine how punchy and like mm -hmm. flavorful and like strong. I, honestly, I feel the nicotine already too. Yeah, mm -hmm. like this would have been relatively strong uh, when it was fresh, I believe. Yeah, this could be off because it's been a while also since I've smoked this, and you guys will be more familiar. But like. I know that there was a released version. This is also going into the like, he's been <laughs> planning this for a long time. <laughs> but I know that there was a released version of the Haunted Bookshop cake. Oh, oh yeah. Right. And then, oh, you know, there's no that's, way. I know that I was just but, yeah, some it's of the a components. Thought. It's a thought. But I was thinking about like maybe like actual ribbon. Yeah, never like mind. Old Haunted Bookshop. Yeah. Like old, old Haunted Bookshop. Yeah. Pressed a little bit, like, but. Sheesh. Hmm. Oh my God. Now that you said that, I'm kind of like, I don't know. 
I seriously doubt it though. When Oof. when it first released, the day it released, I cracked a ten of the cake. Mm -hmm. But like it, that was what a year and a half, two yeah, years ago. Yeah, that's not. Top. This isn't old enough. This but would also to. with the regular haunted bookshop. Yeah, I've never like smoked any that's like got any age really on it mm -hmm. at all. And I was, but like you know, even new haunted bookshop, it does have a little bit of a funky note to it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just thinking about the components. This is such a strange topping, man. It it feels like such a unique topping, unless I don't even know if this it's is a strictly age. I think it's strictly like, age. Also, after my, my I've left my tin open pretty much this whole time. Yeah. And the fruitiness, the jamminess has subsided a ton, and now I just get that burly yeah. earthiness and like. Yeah. Check that one real quick so though. I closed mine and opened it, and it reminds That's super me. super bready now. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it is straight up. I was gonna that's say that's what mine's like too. In, in line with fall season, it is so yeasty and bready. Like it reminds me of like a Mars New Year. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, or like fall leaves, yeah. like a, a pile of of fallen leaves. Mm. I don't think it's and bread. I don't feel like bread. it's like creek and funky enough to be like a you know like a bayou. Like, yeah, right, like, right. Oh like, like yeah. Morning. Maybe, but I know that we also have just like from the beginning here strictly stuck with C and D pretty much. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> I feel like that's pretty safe in this. In I this think case. it. I think yeah. it is safe. Like we haven't explored. But you're right. My chills. You have know, been, like cop, so, cop me. I don't want to. I don't want to go. Cakes. I don't want to derail like what, the good work we've been putting. Sellif. <laughs> Sellif has a whole series yeah. on crumble cake. Yeah. I don't. So, their so, their crumble cakes though. Every piece is more like square or like round. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. As stringy, it's more round. So it's impossible because of the cut, but the first thing I thought of was Esoterica. Um, what mm. is the blend? Um, it's one of the, the big two. Like Stonehaven? Stonehaven. How it has that boozy yeah. kind oh. of top. Huh. But I mean, by the cut, that's yeah. impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. But that's the first thing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Mind. Like, um, But yeah, it definitely doesn't look like Stonehaven. The, te the texture does kind of give Esoterica does vibes. It? Mm -hmm. But I mean, Maybe. at least when I first like opened it, it's like a super tight flake. Oh, okay. And it's like, I mean, this and is like dark. jet black. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, some very, some of it'll be very like dark. dark chestnut, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I feel it like the esoteric okay. thing here myself. I don't know. All the esoteric cuts to me. I mean, there's only one crumble cake in the entire line, and it's Penzance. Mm. Mm. It's not really a crumble cake, and, but and it honest, is absolutely a sliced crumble cake and not like a sliced yeah. plug. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And like to be honest, like a lot, English. yeah, a lot of the um, stuff, like the Germain things, like it also are just like fine, you know, like very, very fine, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah, very are, fine cut. Yeah. These are chunkier cuts, and they're like a little, a little sporadic in some places, like in terms of the size. I also like, feel like a, a, a lot of the esoteric blends either have molasses or licorice yeah. flavorings. Mm -hmm. What are you guys smoking yours out of? We haven't mm -hmm. done that yet. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's um, a nice bite. Yeah, it's a uh, little tomato-y, eggy, freehand thingy. Like a little Mickey shape. Yeah, very. I, I, I thought it was very like Toku inspired, you know. Same, same uh, diff, yeah. almost. Um, from Adam Davidson. Picked this up in Chicago. Adam doesn't make like a ton of small pipes, so as soon as I saw this, I immediately said, "Throw that to the side." <laughs> man. This is. Uh, from 2007. Uh, it was actually the first Cornelius Mans I ever bought. I've been smoking it for a long time. That is super cool. I love this pipe. Super cool. Pete's got a special pipe too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, this was one that I just made for myself at our factory. Um, that is a, just a petite, you know, straight billiard and like great little size. It's similar to the size of handmaids that I make. Yeah, yeah. And I've been smoking this one for a, a few years now and I take it pretty much everywhere. Um, and it's actually going to be the next moonshine shape. Nice. nice. Heck nice. Yeah. Super it's going to be the moonshine hillbilly. Yeah. Amazing. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So, um, Alan yeah. will take six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been getting a lot of comments over years because I, I take this around and people will be like, is that like one of your guys' pipes? And I'm like, well, sort of. It's just one, a one off. And they're like, man, I wish you guys would make a little like straight billiard like that. And yeah. so, yeah, nice. that's happening. Finally, coming, finally soon. Coming. Yeah, coming soon. Finally happening. I was smoking to Abe Herbaugh. That nice. picked up in Vegas last year. So cool. Awesome pipe. Yeah, that pipe's amazing. The silver work and the stem work. Get me every time. Mm. All right, back to the tobacco. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, I'm going to mine off now for a little while because I kind of want to like see how the mm. smell is changing with the tobacco here too. I think I I can just go components. I feel like burley, mm -hmm. a little bit of Perique, mm -hmm. a little bit of Virginia is not a ton. And mm -hmm. then I do think Orientals, like that breadiness and mm -hmm. some of the musty character. Some of the musty character. I'm going to say Orientals. So I don't know if that fits any of the Cellar Series blends, but. I also think Cellar Series by CND is about as good, good. close as I'm willing to guess. <laughs> uh, man, the the whole Oriental thing, especially in an aged tobacco, I think I would be hard pressed to tell the difference between certain air cured cigar leaf and certain Orientals. Oh, yeah, also mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that makes, this, that makes still, this really difficult. I'm still like. I don't know. It's in a, like it's been so long since I've smoked it. Yeah, I don't even remember what year it came out, but with like with the seersucker, I'm still thrown off on that. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I keep going back to seersucker or like country lawyer, obviously, yeah. or like the cigar leaf thing. But I'm like, I literally have original hard. releases of all of those blends like upstairs right now. The retro hill too <laughs> is very similar to a cigar, which. But but again, you know, air cured burley too. Like they're like burley and, and cigar leaf are really really closely related. True. Um, I'm also just thinking about a cigar, and that <laughs> does things. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What do you guys think about strength level? I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's on the yeah. yeah. It's pushing the full, pushing like, full for a pipe tobacco especially. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely like my first smoke of the day, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad I ate. This right. decent amount of nicotine. Yeah, which also hit, which also points to like maybe high content of burley. Mm hmm Oh god. Then there's super dark like black leaf in here. Could that let's, be like let's, cabin did? Let's burn that. That could be perique, man. Mm. Yeah. Ay ay ay. I don't know why, but Ashley's one oh nine. More than <laughs> or like gold. I don't know why, but more than usual, I, I really want to get this one right. I don't know why. It's because it's Andy, and yeah. he's a fellow panelist, and he's, and and he's and trying to punish me. I know it. There's yeah. a trick here. I think that I think that is per week. We're coming for all you inquisitors one by one. The Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. I think that's per week. Yeah. Is it still oh, going? Yeah. A little bit. I can. I caught a little whiff of it. I don't need these fingertips anyway. The Inquisitor Crusades. Yeah. You can see that. That I mean, that smells. No one suspects the Inquisitor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bah. Yeah. Are we are we will, yeah. ready to be wrong? Be wrong. Does anyone have a like super Strong? specific guess? Like so I think like seersucker. I, I, I kind of feel like that's gonna be my. Is yeah. it's gonna be to me? Those are gonna be and like both of those could be. Yeah. One do they both guesses? have cigar leaf or just seersucker? They both have cigar. Okay. They both do, yeah. But one's a cake. One's a cake. Seersucker. And like, a cake. I, I'm sure there are some, there's some like differences, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. ratios or whatever. But yeah. I just mean like, I know that like, even from talking to Jeremy when we first did sure country lawyer, mm -hmm. and him being like, we got seersucker now, which is like a lot of similarities, but like pressed in a cake. So like, yeah. if you like, if you were to smoke them, you know, like side by side, like there's a lot of similarities, but they're, they're gonna be way different because of like pressing yeah. it. There's some, there's some component fire. differences too, mm -hmm. I think. But I don't know. I, but yeah, actually, I don't I know. I think they both have dark fire. Oh. That's interesting. Or I know at least, I, I think that, for sure Country Lawyer. Does. That not, is something that I'm not tasting. That's here. the same, yeah. I'm not yeah. tasting that. So, so out of all of the original Cellar Series blends, Oak Alley was by far my favorite. I smoked the most of it, I cellared the most of it. Um, I've revisited it more than the other blends from the original releases, although it's been years at this point. Um, eesh. I think I might still. What? Sorry, I was just. We haven't mentioned Bourbon Blue. There's no way. Okay, I haven't smoked <laughs> that one. I just realized like we, we had no way. Yeah, I assume yeah. it's topped with some bourbon type it's of thing. A lot more bright leaf, mm. and no. compared to the other Cellar Series blends, I don't know how much, but like probably less than 10% perique. And a lot of those other ones were were pretty chunky gotcha. on the perique percent. I literally saw it over there. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh shoot, we haven't. We forgot about bourbon. We got a little bit of a cheat code. Yeah. yeah no, I I 
yeah, bourbon blue is bourbon blue is very distinctive. Um, it has that, I mean, obviously bourbon, but it also has like like a a brighter, fruitier quality to but the aroma. But after 10, 15 years of age, it's also not a cake. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go with Chenet's cake. Um, yeah, is that the one that you say you smoke the most? Oak Alley. No, Oak Alley is, Alley is the one I smoke the most, yeah. and the only reason I'm, I think, I think. They are extremely closely related, Chenay's and Oak Alley, mm -hmm. but Chenay's has significantly more Perique. Mm -hmm. And based on the strength of this, after what I think is a pretty serious amount of time, I'm gonna assume that the heavier Perique blend is the one that would still give me a little bit of a, yeah. oh, hello. Did they, did they have yeah. Burley in them? Both. Okay. Yeah. Bo I, both of them, I think, I, honestly, I can't remember. Both of them are Perique Burley, Virginia. And I don't know if there's anything else. Orientals, maybe. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember if there's Cav in any of them or Orientals in any of them, but um, I feel like I'm gonna have. If it's Oak Alley, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> but I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stick with Chenay's based on the strength yeah. and sort of the fruitiness when we mm -hmm. when we originally opened the tins. Man, man, man. As much as I don't think it is Country Lawyer, <laughs> I'm gonna play the Inquisitor. Then play the Country guest Lawyer. panelist. Yeah, then, yeah. Because uh, I've I've never had Country Lawyer with some age on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm probably the oldest I've had is 21, 20, something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's one. It's definitely for me one of those that like I haven't opened any of my original release tens of Country Lawyer or jars, and. I, I just don't know what it smells yeah, like you know, after yeah. you pop yeah. it for years. Yeah. It's all been more fresh. Mm -hmm. And it's actually been a while since I smoked Country Lawyer. And even more so, I keep going back to Searsucker because like, I know that there's similarities. And I know that, but I, I've only smoked Searsucker like when it first came out. Like fresh. Fresh. And I, I can't remember, like I just don't feel like Country Lawyer has, even with the age, I just don't know if it, I feel like it would have this much like, Funkiness and yeah. like, yeah, uh, this. I don't know. Country but. lawyer doesn't have perique, does it? I don't, I don't think so. No, I, don't I know. Think I, know so. I know that we're all just like, oh, yeah, right. yeah. Right. No, I don't think there's it holes does. in every one of our guesses. Yeah, in exactly. Some way. Yeah. Exactly. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't remember, but I don't think it does have any. Because if it does have any, it's a very, very, very small yeah. amount. Mm -hmm. Like, well, all right. So you're saying Cellar Series? Yeah, I don't feel comfortable guessing a specific blend because the only one I've had is what was the English? Should be? Yeah. No, I thought that was a different. Or there is a different one. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. Vucare. Vucare. Yeah. That's what I've yeah. smoked the most mm -hmm. of. Slash. Yeah. I might have had a bowl of and some of the other. Vucare is amazing. Super unique. It's awesome. It's super it's unique. Big, funky. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's not what this is, and that's the only one I'm really familiar mm -hmm. with. So I don't feel comfortable being like, oh yeah, Oak Alley. But mm -hmm. I, I do think Cellar Series makes good sense. Yeah. I said the components like Burley, Virginia, Perique, maybe, maybe something else. Oriental. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm gonna say. I'll give if if it's if it's one of the seller series, I'll give myself like half a point half or a something point. like that. <laughs> you could, I can you see still, it being one of those. Are you still keeping track? I'm keeping score. <laughs> I don't know if our viewers know that, but yeah, I've been keeping score on a yeah. on a spreadsheet. I'm so, I'm so there's a lot of L's. On a that lot of zeros. A lot of L's on that spreadsheet. I, so I'll give I'll give a updated tally um, at the end of the year, mm -hmm. maybe December. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be like. Everybody with maybe 0.5 accurate guesses. <laughs> yeah, like, like twice. I think Tyler will win with like two points or something, or something. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. All right. Are we ready to find out? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hi everybody, Andy White here, the Inquisitor for this month's mystery tobacco review. Uh, my good friend uh, and special guest Pete Prevost is sitting in my seat for this one, and uh, in honor of that very special guest, I wanted to bring out. A really special tobacco to me. Um, so what you guys are smoking is the original run of Cornell and Deal's Oak Alley. Uh, so this was produced in March of uh, 2014. Uh, so it is just a little bit past where the recommended uh, peak age is, so 10 to 15 years. So 10 years old. Um, this I smoked a, a, a tin of this um, a while ago, and it was just kind of crazy uh, the way it's changed. 
Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I think Shane will probably get it, given the amount of Oak Alley that he's uh, smoked in the past. Uh, I think Alan is probably going to be too busy fanboying over Pete. Uh, and uh, Steve's just going to look cool and probably talk about ribs. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Oh my gosh. I'm Steve. This is way. this is a win for me. I do not care what anybody <laughs> says. I'll, I'll, give, I'll, I'll go give into you that half sprint. I'll, I'll give go, you half I'm going into that sprint. Yeah, I mean, you said it, point. and then you even said. So, yeah. the part that I said I had a flashback of smoking this blend in this pipe driving to work like 10 years ago, it was Oak Alley, not Sinead's Cake. Yeah. Like, yeah. for sure. Yeah. As soon as I smelled it, that was my first guess. The only reason I flip flopped between the two is when I started to feel the, the strength. More yeah. Or yeah, or the more perique. Yeah, the strength yeah. is what it was, because obviously it wasn't more perique. Mm -hmm. um, Wow. Damn it. Sheesh, I, Damn I think it. the Cellar series, like I smoked all of them when they came out, but like I didn't I've revisited a couple, but like it's mm -hmm. not it's mm -hmm. not some that I'm familiar mm -hmm. with really that well. But like I mean they're all very good. Now o I'm Oak Alley yeah. special. Oak yeah, Alley is, is special. This is awesome. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Get some Oak Alley. Yeah, for Age sure. it for 15 years. Because it's freaking great. It's awesome. Man. Well done, Andy. Yeah, good yeah, job, Andy. Good job, Andy. I'm not okay. <laughs> the mason jar I definitely so threw me off. We're gonna, yeah, we'll end this short so that Shane I can go so, lick, so close. lick his wounds. We've gotta go console That's rough. Shane, guys. Yeah. I wanna beat Tyler so bad. I'm the <laughs> aggregate for the whole year. This was my chance and I blew it. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a good day <laughs> Thanks, and a Pete. good month. Hey, yeah, thanks for letting me do this, <laughs> yeah, guys. Man. This is fun. Yeah. Now you know how we feel every uh, month. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if I ever do Inquisitor again, I'll be kinder. <laughs> <laughs> More sympathetic. <Yeah. laughs> thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. See ya.